My ultimate dream has been for a long time to make it to the Ironman World Championship in Kona. The joy, the celebration at that finish line is remarkable. Found in the north of Canada in the Boreal Forest of central Saskatchewan is the small town of La Range. Located on the trapping line for early European fur traders, this area has now become a popular fishing destination and breeding ground for outdoor enthusiasts. This is where 65-year-old James Irvine has settled with his family and made public health his life's mission. James has also spent his time outside of training giving back to the communities of the North by providing important research to the First Nation indigenous tribes, promoting health and wellness. One of his biggest challenges is training during the winter. I'm from Northern Saskatchewan, a place called La Ronge, um, a beautiful spot in, in the country. It's uh, uh, trees, rocks and water, a boreal shield, hiking trails, running trails. We have one highway that comes into our community in Oak, but in the wintertime it's uh, skiing, fat biking, um, cross-country skiing, as well as, as um, snowshoeing. I came to La Ronge about 37, 38 years ago as a family doctor. In my role through public health, I traveled to up to about 50 communities across the north, more in the area of preventative health care and community development. We need more athletes like James, you know, to, to push to the limit and that's what, you know, as Indigenous people, all of us in the North, we, we need to see that it's doable if you work hard enough. James is a very caring person. That's the kind of doctors we need when they talk to their patients and understand where you're coming from. James was one of my personal inspirations. James really caring for the community. Uh, never lost hope and just kept encouraging us and, and we felt that. I know that he continues to be a role model for us and um, making sure that we have the, the information that we need and Isagi which means he loves us and we know that he loves us and respects us and he respects our way of life. Well it gives me a great pleasure in terms of feeling like you're making a bit of a difference. It's like training for an Ironman. You have to set goals and you um, realize there's going to be obstacles along the way, but you have to keep your mind on, on those goals. The work and training go hand in hand. For 65-year-old James Irvine, the hay is in the barn. Now it's time to reap the rewards at the Subaru Ironman Canada. With a top three finish here in the 65 to 69 age group, he'll be able to punch his ticket to Kona. James recently finished fifth at Ironman 70.3 Victoria, so confidence and fitness levels are high. Located in the southern Pacific ranges of the Coast Mountains is the resort town of Whistler, Canada. It's considered one of the top destinations for outdoor adventurists. It's a nature's playground for skiers, mountain bikers, and trail runners. This weekend, it's all Ironman. James would not be here if it wasn't for the love and support of his family. Ironman can be quite an emotional event. Family's been so supportive for it. So, so when I'm in those the times in which it's so tough, I, th I think of family. I think of, uh, of, sorry. So when you hit those times in which it, it, it's getting tough, when it's getting hotter, your legs are, are feeling like, like lead weights, that's where where I think of family and, and uh, the love and support I got from them. The Ironman World Championship at Kona is, is the ultimate goal. Um, it's the location, it's the, the history, it's seeing who's gone before, the joy, the celebration, the activity that goes on at that finish line is remarkable. It's just a celebration of life. It's, it's, uh, 
Very, very inspiring. That's the thing I'm thinking about. Not just planning on trying to complete this race. This time, it's to finish it and hopefully to, to make it to a cone slot. It's race morning at the Subaru Ironman Canada, and the water in Alta Lake is calm. Race veteran James Irvine is also feeling calm. Well, certainly I was trying to maintain sort of calmness and, and being relaxed, and, and I think I did a reasonable job with that, but at the same time there's such excitement, and you're still going through your mind, your, your game plan. And I realized that with a number of the competitors in my age group I was going to have to do very well if I would have to have one of my best races ever. In Whistler, the 2.4 mile swim is held in the clean shallow waters of Alta Lake at Rainbow Park. It's a two-loop course where swimmers will make a series of left turns around the buoys before making their way onto the beach right into Transition 1. The pros exit the water followed by the age group athletes. James Irvine emerges and exits the swim at 1.29.30. He's currently in sixth place in the 65 to 69 division. James needs a top three finish to get to Kona. After a five minute and 24 second transition to the bike, it's open roads ahead. James is on the first loop in Whistler and holding strong in fifth position. The hills are coming. The bike course at the Subaru Ironman Canada is one of the most picturesque and challenging courses on the North American circuit. Athletes follow a three loop course on undulating roads through the Whistler Valley. With temperatures rising above 83 degrees, James is starting to suffer. Being from the north, he rarely trains in this type of heat. I knew that when the temperature gets high, the speed that you can maintain and the wattage that you can maintain is less. So I knew right from the beginning that I was not able to maintain the wattage. But I knew that even if you're feeling strong during your bike, if you're using up too much energy on the bike, you feel it and you'll pay for it in the run. James Irvine arrives at T2 and completes the 112 mile bike ride in 7 hours, 55 minutes and 12 seconds. After a long ride, the reward is just being able to get off your bike. He spends only 4 minutes and 38 seconds in transition before he heads off on the run. Currently he's in 6th place but needs a top 3 finish. The run course in Whistler is two loops and follows the meandering valley trail past Lost Lake and Green Lake. At mile 6, James is turning it over and gaining on the leaders. He's running in 5th place and 4th is only a few miles up the road. If you ever wanted to witness joy in its purest form, just go to an Ironman finish line anywhere in the world. It's happening tonight in Whistler. James Irvine appears from the darkness. As he steps onto the red carpet, his face says it all. James crosses the line in 15-13-45 and secures a fourth place finish. He will not be going to the 2018 Ironman World Championship. But his quest for Kona continues. Oh, the feeling of turning that last corner and, and you see the finish line and the crowd cheering for you and you know that your family's going to be at the other end. That's such a great, great feeling. It's, I mean, that, that's, it's indescribable how, how positive a feeling, feeling that is to, to accomplish that. Follow this season's quest for Kona athletes as they attempt to qualify for the 2018 Ironman World Championship, brought to you by Amazon. Follow us on our Facebook watch channel Ironman now for full race week coverage.